What's the most f ked up thing ever been told to you in confidence? I was once friends with a girl who told me that in order to get her ex-boyfriend, with whom she had been having an affair, back. She had sent an email to his suicidal wife detailing their affair. Her intention was not just to break them up, but to have the wife kill herself. She eventually attempted it, and was found unconscious by her husband. As he opened the front door. Thankfully she survived it all. But needless to say, it's why we aren't friends anymore. One of my mates told me he killed someone a few weeks prior. Honestly didn't believe him. Thought he was just making shti up. Then I saw the newspaper article. A few months later he's in prison and I never saw him again. Be careful dating my brother. He'll make you do stuff if you refuse him. But he does it in the bus so I'm still a virgin. A friend of mine whose wealthy drug addicted mother had her institutionalized, where she was s sorely abused, burnt her mother's house down after getting out. When they started to rebuild the house she burnt it down again when it was nearly done. Edit. The mother had her institutionalized because of suspected homozuality. Not because of any actual mental health issues. The mother was abusive. And. Obviously. This impacted my friend's mental health but the house destruction was purely revenge on her spendthrift mother. When my brother and I were teens. He told me he wished he could die so he could be with his mother and so that he wouldn't be in pain every day and be a burden on father. He told me he knew just how much of his painkillers he needed to take. And he wouldn't feel anything. Just slip away and never wake up. It scared the hell out of me. Father somehow found out and got him counseling and he's never talked about it again. But it was terrifying at the time. My dad once told me that when he was little. He found his brother having sx with a mule. Now every time I see my uncle. I have this sudden urge to burst out laughing. What a jackass. I have an old childhood friend who joined a rather notorious gang where I'm from. Got drunk one night after years apart. Told me as a prospect the worst thing he did was to put his girlfriend at the time on the block. He has hated the older gang members that made him do it and planned out how he is going to kill them down to the last detail. I have no idea whether he will do it or not but he hates them like nothing I've seen. Edit. Putting someone on the block means a ganic bang. Most likely against the person's will. A former friend was getting a divorce. His wife got pregnant again. He did not want the baby. When he was watching the two children he would dote on the elder and be mean to the younger. Feeding the young one very spicy food so that his mouth would burn and saying it was to get him to stop asking for food because he was a fatty. He would also neglect the child with full knowledge of what he was doing. I ripped the dad a new asshole and have never talked to him again. I did not have even close to enough information about this friend to contact anyone. During my first year in university a professor died of a heart attack. It was during midterms and he was consulting a student at the time. In grad school I met that student. He was a doctoral candidate working with the new graduate students. One night we were drinking at the campus pub and he told me he waited until the professor was dead before he called for help. In short. He just watched him die. I used to know a lady who I was sort of friends with. She was venting to me the one day about her father because she had a very rocky relationship with him. He was a big drinker. Would leave the family for long stretches of time only to show up and act like nothing ever happened. The like. Well. He continued to do the same even in her adult life. Which was what the rant was about to start with. Well. It was starting off kind of normal. Lots of the why is he even bothering? Kind of complaints. It got really weird. She started talking about how her and her mother have the feeling that the father molested her older sister growing up. They didn't have definitive proof. But the feeling was there. Okay. Slightly odd conversational shift. But I sat there with a sympathetic ear. It got really weird when she asked. Why did he molest her and not me? Why would he love one child enough to do that to them and hate me enough to never even to try to touch me? That's when I mentally noped out of that conversation. 
my friend's dad told me he was cheating on his wife and he'd pay me to keep watch parked outside his house in case his wife came home early. My dad used to work part time at a warehouse in a low income area while he was in school. And his co-workers liked to confide things with him for some reason. One of his co-workers would eat pickled jalapenos from the jar all day and then complain about how his wife yelled at him about it burning when he went down on her. Another one of his co-workers confided in him that he murdered someone several years back in Minnesota. An ex-boyfriend confided in me that he had over a terabyte of child pornography on an external hard drive. And he had to delete stuff all the time to make room for all the new stuff. I hope you called the cops on that disgusting FCK. My good friend told me her boyfriend had anally arped her so there's that. Yeah. Similar thing with my friend. She told me when we were 12 a family friend, 30ish, put his hand down her pants when he was teaching her how to skateboard. I told her to tell her parents. But she didn't. Two years later he anally arped her. She told her other friend and it turned out he did the same thing to the other friend a few months before. Again neither reported it. Guy told me he was planning to poison his fiance registered Siamese cats because he didn't like them. Just how many of my co-workers had been molested. 10 years ago I worked as an exotic dancer, read. Stripper, in a major metropolitan city. A night came where I found out most of my fellow dancers had been molested by someone they knew. The sisters were molested by their grandfather. The beauty by her uncle. The Amazon by her father. The Nubian goddess by her grandfather. The Asian by her mother's boyfriend. The Latina by her family friend. I was the only person working there who had not survived a serious SZL assault extended molestation. Even some of the bouncers had either themselves or their close family members be as sorely assaulted. Which gave them the impetuous to protect the dancers and help keep us all safe from the predators outside who saw the flesh but ignored the spirit beneath. It hurt inside to hear their stories. But knowing they were using that job, topless bar, not a full service club, to take back their sexuality and rebuild their self worth a little bit at a time made me love those women even more. Those revelations made the strippers curse even more eyebrow raising. A friend of mine once told me about the scenarios he's been entertaining to potentially kill his mother. That's the sort of thing where you need to do something. My friend once randomly said to me one lesson. You know. If you didn't have so many spots. Were thinner and didn't have a lisp. Then you'd probably have a boyfriend. Took months to recover from that. Friend. An old mate's wife told me one drunken night that she can't sleep with her husband unless he pretends he is a dog. Something about it being animalistic that she found kinky. A plastic surgeon I shadowed was telling me about a patient that was murdered before a scheduled procedure. That they got drunk and hit someone with their car. This was at a party. Having pre-drank and drove there. I left an anonymous tip with the cops. FCK that. Take your pick. I found the man who robbed me at gunpoint and he now has a metal plate in the back of his skull. My foster mother would get cats and dogs and accidentally run them over when she was bored of them. We she got bored of me. She tried to drown me in the bathtub. My siblings and I convinced ourselves we were being s sorely abused by our grandfather so CPS would take us away from our abusive grandmother. Do you work with Batman villains? I was talking with a friend about this girl that I had met and my friend said he hated her. And I thought this was strange because my friend isn't one to hate people. I ask further and he tells me that they used to date, and I thought standard bad breakup, and as he continues he says that once he broke up with her one day she told the entire school she broke up with him because he arped her. She then went to the police which launched a year long investigation where my friend, who is one of the nicest guys ever, had to be brought into the police station multiple times for questioning had to spend a heap of money on lawyers all because of some crazy chick who couldn't handle being dumped. Later in the year the case was dropped and she admitted she made the story up edit. Why wasn't she sent to jail? Was she punished in any way? That this person was helping some guy cheat on his girlfriend because apparently he was possessed by demons and this was necessary to suppress them or something. 
What it came down to is that they had really rough. Loud SX and I'm pretty sure they almost killed one another because choking, to the point of nearly passing out, was part of this ritual. Yeah. I have absolutely no idea if they believed this story themselves. But this may be the most elaborate lie I have ever heard to excuse cheating. I never promised you a bonus. I ex. Boss him years ago. After I wanted to collect the bonus he promised one year earlier. Always get those statements in writing. Always. Some years ago I met a young woman who ended up telling me that she had been raped. And that the rapist was eventually acquitted after a trial. But apparently her friends decided to impose some justice of their own. And now she knew where there was a body buried on a certain nearby mountain. Know a man who actively practices incest with his older sister. These goddamn Lannisters. I swear. That they basically are ped a girl. These two guys I knew from high school had gone off to university together. To a known party school. We all met back up over the winter holidays and were sharing crazy party stories because we were 18. In our first year of university. And idiots. These two guys tell me about how one of them brought a girl back to his dorm after a party. And she was really really drunk. And they hooked up. And then in the middle of the night his friend switched places with him while she slept. And then his friend had sx with a girl. They thought it was absolutely hilarious that the girl hadn't noticed their little switcheroo. I called them out on how f ked up that is. But they got really defensive about it. I stopped talking to them after that. And I told my close girlfriends. Who attended the same uni as those guys. About what they had told me. No basically about it. Man. That is straight up rape. Good call on cutting ties and warning your friends. Kinda doubt that's the only time they ever will did pull sketchy tea. A regular at the bar I used to work at drunkenly told me his ex-girlfriend, who he talked about often, fk a German Shepherd. More than once. Do you have some sort of prejudice against the German people? Seems to me that if this guy was a Swiss watchmaker, no one would have thought anything about it. But just because this guy has a blue collar job on a farm, people automatically get weird about it. A friend in middle school once told me that her little sister was only her half sister. Not her full sister. Her mother got drunk and screwed a guy at a party. Nobody but her mom. The girl. And I guess me know the truth. Colon. I occasionally go target shooting with an older gentleman who is an immigrant from a country that at one point. Back before the internet but during the times of VHS. Had a reasonably oppressive government. He sort of views me as the son he never had. I'm over 25 years younger than him. And sometimes we grab beers after a day out. Over time. He told me that he was in his country's secret police and was involved in several extrajudicial executions. And by involved. I mean committed. I have seen photographic and physical proof that he was in a paramilitary organization that you have likely heard of. So the only thing that he can't prove are the stores themselves. I'm inclined to believe them based on the consistency and his general demeanor. And he's a very honest man that I consider to be a friend who has no reason to lie to me. I'm not especially bothered by the stories. Either. For a number of reasons that aren't particularly important. Still. They are certainly fked up. Are you an app pupil? At about 5am in a CD bar a few years ago. A guy told me he had just got out of prison for murdering a fellow soldier. He said that the guy had been shot by the enemy. So he broke his neck to put him out of his misery. He said he would have gotten away with it. But they found the footage of his body cam and saw what he did. Literally none of this makes a single ounce of sense. And is probably complete bullsh t. But still pretty f ked considering how much he seemed to believe it himself. This nice. Open hearted and outgoing girl disclosed to me how she got pleasure from vivisecting rats and other small animals. It. A roommate of mine confessed to arping a woman. He said that he and her had talked about it and she forgave him. She was passed out and he was sober. But he felt so bad about it all the time. I could never look at him the same. Comma she was passed out and he was sober. 
Yo. You are ped me but it's all fine. You're a really nice guy. Normally. You just are pay people occasionally. Colon. My ex-boyfriend told me he wanted a dog to fck him. Not him fck a dog. A dog to fck him. And he had even attempted it once. I still dated him for like 2 months after that. Someone wanted me to help them commit suicide. An elderly man in a wheelchair. First time poster. Long time reader. About 20 years ago one of my neighbors told me that she stopped taking her contraceptive pills so that she could get pregnant from her boyfriend. She thought this way he would have to stick around. They now have 3 kids and are miserable. Guess in some ways she got what she wanted. Karma's a real bitch. My friend cheated on her boyfriend, who she's planning to move out of state with sometime soon, for free weed and LSD. Repeatedly. Sometimes they forewent protection. Maybe you should tell the dude? I don't know. I'd tell my friend if he was planning for the long term with a girl who raw dogged a drug dealer for her next hit. My father telling me I should abort my child because I would hurt kill him because I suffered from depression 3 years prior to getting pregnant. Guess who ended up suffering from postnatal depression because I was terrified I would hurt my child. I really don't understand why the hell he said that when I'm the kind of person who ends up crying whenever I see child abuse stories on the news. I went no contact with my father recently because of this shti. My friend in high school was addicted to heroin at 16. Another friend got sent to one of those abusive reform schools where they lock you in a room for days at a time. I had a friend in college who was a bit promiscuous. She lost her virginity in 8th grade and basically fell in love with anyone who said hi to her. Anyway. She had two older sisters and one was pregnant and engaged when my friend was 15. She somehow ended up crushing on her sister's fiancé, who was probably in his mid-twenties at the time, and they ended up having sex multiple times. Sister found out. Big sh show. The sister still ended up marrying the fiancé and having more kids with him. Everyone blamed her for the fiasco and no one seemed to be mad at him for seducing a minor. Weird. People just open up to me. It doesn't matter if I've known them 5 minutes or a few years. They always talk. I keep their secrets but as a general overview. I've been told the following. Body counts of several soldiers who have yet to tell anyone but their battle buddies what they've done. Two stories of being molested by family members. Two different people and. Unfortunately. Three different pedophiles. One went to jail. Yay for that. A few tales of cheating. Substance abuse. Rape or assault. Maybe I should be a counselor since people naturally open up to me. FCK these people who abuse people and molest them and make them have shame over their own terror. When it comes to harm abuse I will always go to the police if I can. And I have. This is drudging up shti I've buried. Edit. Thanks for the gold kind person. Comma you rock. I was once dating this woman I had met online and one day we were sitting at Panera having some food. We invariably got to the subject of SX. She asked me how many people I've had SX with and I reluctantly told her I was a virgin. She laughed out loud and was adamant that I was joking with her. I kept trying to convince her that no. I really am a virgin. Once she realized I was serious. She said well that's rather unfortunate. I'm sure there's a girl out there for you. I thought to myself. Well fck me. I thought the whole point I was taking you on a date was because you're interested in me but now you've made it blatantly obvious that I'm a worthless piece of shti because I'm a virgin and you no longer consider me an option. Without saying a word. I just got up with my food and drove away. That was 2 years ago and to this day I still have extreme anxiety surrounding my virginity and I still feel undeserving of anyone's affection. She said. Is it in? I never fully recovered. An ex of mine told me how her previous boyfriend tied her to a radiator. Ah ped her. Then let his friends take turns. I saw him out at our local club and punched him in his face until his nose bust. I let scoop her. The friendly bouncer, 
know my plan beforehand and he advised me to disappear after I hit him so he wouldn't have to ban me. Police saw me running from the large crowd and shouted at me. I told the officer exactly what happened and why. And she told me to keep running so I did. Did it. I guess there are a few good cops still out there.